I'm Holly. What? Oops. No. No. Okay, so I'm Holly and I want to give a brief tutorial on how to use a compass. I'm planning on running the Marathon de Salvas in April 2016 and I've never used a compass before so I had to do a little checking up and figure out how to use one and how I can use one with the map that I will have when I'm in the desert. The road book which they essentially give you with the diagram and the sketches and the direction that you need to obviously go. In order to use a compass what I found out is you have to you have to know where you are and the direction that you need to go in. You can't be like um, I'm lost and I'm not really sure which way I need to go, but I just want to go home. Well, the compass is not going to do you any good. You need to know where you are. You need to be able to look at a map or have some kind of um, orientation. Like, oh my gosh, there's a mountain right next to me. I know exactly where I am on this map. I see that mountain or I see this set of trees. I know exactly where I am and I know that I need to say I need to go 230 degrees. That's like north, south, southwest, you know, this is on a, um, on a compass, you have 360 degrees, a full circle, and the degrees are according to this full circle. So I know that I'm standing, for example, right now, I know I'm standing next to the big golden monument, okay? And from here, I need to go 60 degrees. Okay, so that's a good starting point. Then I can pull out my compass and I can figure out where to go. If, if it's a clear sunny day and you've got runners all around you and you can see the tags, you're not going to need this compass. But say there's a sandstorm that comes and I can see, if you can't see anything obviously you're not going to go anywhere, you're just going to like pop down. But if you've got pretty good visibility, not so bad, but you're not really sure, you don't see the next marker 500 meters away, so, oh, yeah, so then you're going to pull out your compass just to be sure and you can follow that so you know where you're going. Okay, and then Here's like a basic travel compass, and I'll show you how to use this. It needs to lay flat. The arrow here on the top is the direction that you want to go, you know, which you don't know yet which direction that is. But, so, like I said, I know where I am. I'm next to the big golden monument, and I know from looking at the map that says if you're standing next to the big golden monument, you need to go 60 degrees to get to the next checkpoint. So, I go to my compass and I can rotate the dial here and I put this on 60 degrees right to the arrow that I want to go. I want to go at 60 degrees. Boom. And then, the next thing I need to do is look at this dial and that red dial needs to be pointing at north. And when that red dial is pointing at north, then the direction that this arrow is pointing is the correct direction that I want to go, my 60 degrees. So I'm like rotating myself around, I'm rotating around the other way now. Okay, here we go. Okay, look, there we go. Red arrow pointing north. My arrow is in this direction. And so I know that the next checkpoint is that way. To stay on track, I hold it in my hand, make sure the needle stays right on the end and I'm right on track. 